Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to determine the minimum period of a periodic signal. Given the following signal, x of n equal to e power m times 2 pi over n multiplied by the index n. So, given this signal, we want to show that the minimum period of this signal is given by n naught equal to n over the GCD of m and n, where GCD is the greatest common divisor of the numbers m and n. Since x of n is a periodic signal, by definition, x of n is equal to x of n plus the period Tp. So, this is equation 1. Note that the period Tp belongs to the set of natural numbers. Since we are dealing with discrete signals, the, the period Tp should be a natural number. Now, let us derive the value of the signal at n plus Tp. That is x of n plus Tp, which is equal to e power j times m into 2 pi over n multiplied by n plus Tp which is equal to e power j m 2 pi over n multiplied by Tp into e power j m 2 pi over n multiplied by the index n. We can clearly see that this component is equal to the original signal x of n. That is x of n plus Tp is equal to x of n multiplied by the exponential e power j m 2 pi over n into the period Tp. This is true because this exponential is equal to x of n based on the definition of the signal. And since x of n is a periodic signal from equation 1, we can clearly deduce that the value of this function e power j m 2 pi by n multiplied by Tp should be equal to 1. Note that e power j theta is equal to 1 means that theta is a multiple of 2 pi, where k is an integer. Therefore, the product m into 2 pi over n multiplied by Tp should be equal to k into 2 pi. And since Tp is a natural number, k should also be a natural number. Therefore, the period Tp is equal to n over m by k by simple algebraic manipulation. We can easily derive that Tp is equal to n by m by k. So, this is the value of the period. Now, let us look at the minimum possible period. And since the values of n and m are known or fixed or at least fixed, the minimum period, period it is minimum of Tp should be equal to n by m by minimum of k because k is the only value that can be changed. So, the minimum of the period should be equal to minimum of k multiplied by n by m or in other words n by m by minimum of k. Now, for the period Tp to be an integer that is if Tp is an integer and since Tp is a period and we are dealing with discrete signals, Tp is an integer. So, for Tp to be an integer, n by m by k must also be an integer and that means m by k is a factor of n and obviously m by k is also a factor of m and the maximum possible value of m by k is clearly equal to that is maximum value of this one is clearly equal to the GCD of m and n. This is because m by k is a factor of n and it is clearly a factor of m. So, the maximum possible value is the greatest common divisor of m and n. Therefore, m by minimum of k is equal to GCD of m comma n. And this is a maximum of m by k can be written as m by minimum of, minimum of k because m is already fixed. Therefore, the minimum period 
denoted as n0 is equal to n by m by minimum of k and by this result we have n0 is equal to n by gcd of m comma n. Therefore, this ratio is the minimum period of the periodic signal e power j times m times 2 pi over n multiplied by n. So, the minimum period for this signal is given by this value. So, in order to derive the period of a signal, all you have to do is equate the value of the signal at n plus tp to the signal x of n and then the factor must be equal to 1 and from that equation we can derive the values of the period and its minimum possible value. Thanks for watching.